Hey everybody, it's Tammy. Um, you guys know that uh, I have uh, the hatchback, my art car. I now know it's an art car. You're such a thing. Um, I just got back from Houston uh, and I went to the Orange Show's Houston Art Car Parade. And I have this program and it, it kind of will help um, you guys to understand a little bit about how magnificent this whole thing is. So um, th this well, I'm, I'm going to just go through and we'll talk about what's in here. Okay, so this is a vision of what the Orange Center is going to be. It's not that way yet. It's not that way yet, but it will be. Um, and so that's something they're looking forward to and something that the money will go to. So let me just... Um, We'll go right here. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about that during this one. Uh, and the, some of the things that Houston has available um, is just, it, it, who knew that Houston had such a wonderful art scene? Um, but I didn't get the opportunity to do all of it, so I'll go back for a second time and, and then we'll do it. This is the first time I've ever been around other art cars and it's just amazing to me. I, I'm still overwhelmed with the, all the wonderful parts of it. So. Um, First of all, I'll talk about uh, a couple, I'm gonna skip on through that, but I wanted to um, show you here. This is the artist that did the artwork here. And uh, this artist was uh, at the, um, the uh, an area called The Hub, which is a uh, center that we visited. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. David Best was there and he put up a temple uh, that is, is a non-denominational non, um, uh, temple. Uh, it's not for any religion or any certain group of people, but it a, a, was a, a, a temple that uh, he goes to Burning Man, he goes, he's gone internationally, and he was there at the Orange Center setting up, and it was a pretty phenomenal thing to watch them set that all up. Um, so things that happened, uh, oh my goodness. So um, first on April the 10th that night, uh, it was a welcome for the people from out of town. So I went to that April the 11th on the morning, Thursday morning at nine o'clock and began uh, what they call the Main Street Drag. And in the Main Street Drag, uh, we went out to the public. So uh, they divided us up into groups uh, of maybe 10 or 12 cars, something like that. We had a leader, we had police escorts, and we went uh, out and went to schools and, and um, uh, retirement centers and different centers like that so that people from uh, from those areas who might not make the parade would be had a chance to do that. It was very personal and it was very, very, very fun. Um, th then that evening, um, we had the... Um, Sneak peek at Discovery Green. Discovery Green is downtown Denver. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> downtown Houston. Uh, it was a huge um, area, a beautiful place with the downtown um, uh, high rises all around us. And um, we lined our cars up. Everybody came in, parked. Uh, the artists stayed by their cars. Um, not everyone had to do it. You could choose to if you wanted to. Oh, there's a train going by, so it's gonna take just a second, but it'll be okay. Okay, so um, at the at the main street um, at the main street drag, um, I was there early because me being from little rural Shamrock, Texas, um, I wasn't sure about what traffic was going to be like, how long it was going to take me to get there. I'm going, you know, in the downtown area at eight o'clock in the morning, so I thought that it would be maybe take me much much longer than what it ended up taking me. So I was the first one there, Dad. I was the first one there. <laughs> So, so I, uh, I ended up being first in line. So because I was first in line, I became uh, kind of a little bit more of a center of attention uh, for it. And of course, I was wearing my convict outfit because I drive the escape hatch. Huh. Right? So um, I got a news interview. So ABC uh, Channel 2 out of Houston did it, uh, interviewed me. Wasn't sure if it was going to be on the news or not, because sometimes, you know, they do, sometimes they don't, but it ended up that I was uh, on there, and so that was pretty exciting. However, I had not seen it and didn't get to see it. Uh, so that evening, we did the sneak peek at Discovery Green. So uh, at Discovery Green, uh, as the people were coming by and visiting us, I had probably a half a dozen people say, hey, I saw you on TV. So I was like, yes. That's pretty cool. So I had to find somebody to show me where the the um, the little 
interview and um and it was it was exciting for me um so then on the morning uh, of friday we did the spring branch shimmy and the spring branch shimmy is new they haven't been doing it very long but the spring branch shimmy uh was a lot like the main street drag but we went to the area of spring branch which is a, a screen a school district in that area so we we went in and out of this of the schools a lot of times we would just uh drive around in circles as the kids were out the kids all had these posters that had art cars on them that they had um that they had drawn and that they had colored and so they at, from a very young age began their art car journey there were 20 entries in uh i think 20 entries in the parade from um uh, schools that had done their art cars. Um, so also, um, um, as we were going, one of the, so we did that where we would go around two or three times and, and let them see us. And then the other times we would stop and then the kids would parade around us and see the cars and talk to us and get to visit with them. One of the areas that we went to was the hub. Uh, and that hub, which is a, a, a place for people with the um, um, neurological differences, um, was very heartwarming for me. I do have a master's in special education, so it's kind of special to me. Um, and so uh, I made connections with some of those kids. And um, and um, a as we were getting ready to go, they uh, they honored me as the favorite car. So I got I was a winner uh, in, there at their uh, facility and was honored with a poster, uh, which will be framed and put into my house. It was I was very very overwhelmed and very very appreciative of it. So after the Spring Branch uh, uh, shimmy that evening, we have the legendary art car parade. So, um, I mean, ball, the art, art car ball. Uh, the ball is like a huge Houston event every year, an annual event every year is very, very fun. People with their costumes uh, and have their cars there. You could have your car there. And um, also David Best, who had the uh, his temple there, um, had the temple up and presented it. And so it was the opening for that. Um, his temple um, is a, a place where you can go and remember uh, people or events or things in your life. And um, it's in um, eventually in November for this instant, his temple will be there until November and then at that time it will be burned and all of your memories will go up um, in, in, in flames. So his artwork will be no longer there. Um, so after the, um, the next morning is when uh, we had the parade. So the parade started at two o'clock, but there were two, over 280 entries in the parade. I was number 58, which means that I had to line up with the first group at 10 o'clock in the morning. So I was there at 10, from 10, until the parade started at 2. Um, we had cars lined up on two sides of the street going downtown. Uh, and, the, the, of course, the area's all closed off. Uh, and people just walked to and from and saw our cars. We visited with them. Uh, it was a great, great uh, experience. Um, they had parties down in the park. They had food, they had vendors, they had places for the kiddos to go and, and do some things. And it was just a phenomenal experience for everyone. Uh, and so then we did the parade uh, and at 2 o'clock and got it rolling. And then that evening we had the awards presentation. So what I want to do real quick is kind of show you a little bit about... Um, the parade. So this was the route that we took uh, in the downtown area. Um, we started in like this area, went down, went around the the uh, city hall and all of that, and then came back. So people got to see it on both sides of the road. So that was a great experience. Uh, lots of radio stations and TV uh, stations were there, and they recorded all of it live. Um, so this. This book has all of the cars. I'm going to go buy it real quick so that you can see each one of these is a picture of a different entry. So we're going to go, oh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Number 58. I'm in here. Yeah. Wait. Oh, right here. The scap hitch. Number 58. But look, it just keeps going. And it keeps going. And it keeps going. Look at all these cars. Who knew? Who knew that there were this many art cars in the world? Of course, not all of them are daily drivers. Mine is with uh, 
346,000 miles. I came from Shamrock, Texas, 600 miles down to the Houston Art Car Parade. It was my first time around any art cars, first time at the parade, and it was just phenomenal, a phenomenal experience. I was just in awe the entire time, in awe. Look, it's still going. There's still cars. It's just, it hasn't even stopped yet, and I'm at 224. We're just gonna keep on going. Keep on going. There's more. There's 267 cars there. More. 285. I think we may be at the end. We're at the end. So, um, what a great experience. Um, it, it, was, it was heartwarming. It was wonderful. And I, I feel bona fide now, you guys. I'm an art car artist. What an experience. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.